Welcome to the second remake of an original Type Promotions Skip tutorial. I'm Nathan, and welcome to the new Nighthawk Media YouTube page. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make iPhone icons. As I said, this is a remake of one of the original tutorials when I was Type Promotions. So I'm just going to start my screen recorder. Okay, so before the tutorial starts, I'm going to have to take you to my... Well, this is the Type Promotions Australia YouTube page. At this at time of filming, it says three days left. So in three days from now, in t of time of filming, I'm going to be taking off, I'm going to be deleting the Type Promotions Australia YouTube account. It's pretty bad, I've deleted all the um, comments and stuff. And the guy, the only comment left is of Nighthawk Media. You click on that. Well, here it is here, in fact. And um, yeah, so this is the new Type Promotions, uh, not, not Type Promotions, now I talk media YouTube page. I've already I'm already number three most subscribed this week, Gurus Australia. Eh, uh, number eighty four most subscribed this week, Gurus. Gurus uh, might be worldwide. I don't know. Forty number fourteen most subscribed this month, Gurus Australia. And number seventy eight most viewed today, Gurus Australia. This is my fifth day of having the account. And I already have 346 channel views, so I'm up to a pretty good start. On with the tutorial. So, let's go to GIMP. Okay, so now our GIMP is open. So we're going to make a new image, 600 by 600. And we're going to fill the back in with black, the background. Make a new layer, and we're going to call this icon uh, body. Mouse. Okay. Now we're going to get our square select tool. Now we're going to make a square right across the page, just like that. Try to make it pretty even. Now with the rectangle select tool options dialog, hit this button here, round the corners, and the radius, oh that's pretty good, all the way up. And we're going to, yep, new layers on. Let's go choose our color scheme. Now my brother, the Riddle, he wants to have an uh, he wants to get an iPod touch. So I'm making this tutorial like dedicating this tutorial to him, I should say. Dedicating. Bit of a bit of a strong word. Okay, so I'm gonna get my gradient tool. I'm gonna put his logo on it later. And I'm gonna stroke like that, just across the page. That looks pretty good. Next step, make another new layer. Icon Gloss. Now we're going to get our Eclipse selection tool, making sure the icon gloss is the dominant layer, the dominant, the active layer. And we're going to put the Eclipse mode on intersect with the current selection or Shift Control as the hotkey. Now I'm just going to stroke along. Uh, oh, that's not right. Select none. We're going to alpha to select icon body first. So right mouse click the layout and go alpha to selection. Then we're going to get our clip selection tool. Icon gloss is the active layer. Making sure the layer mode is on intersect with the current selection. Again, hot key shift control. And stroke along, sort of like that. That's pretty good. Now we're going to get our white now and our gradient tool and we're going to the gradient's going to be F, foreground color to transparent FG to transparent. Make sure your foreground color the color at the front is going to be white. Make sure it is. And we're going to stroke down sort of like this. Make sure the line is perfectly straight and let go. Select 
None. Quite a clean looking iPhone icon there. Next step is we're gonna find the logo to put on it. So I'm gonna to go to my uh, Nathawk Media, my um, the Rittle folder, whatever that is here, and I'm looking for this picture. Copy. Actually, I'll edit it with GIMP. So open the logo that you want to put the put on your icon. Make, uh, copy it and paste it, and then make this floating layer a new layer, a layer all to itself, and fill the background in with a sort of or treat it like a green screen. So fill it with red or whatever color you have, and we're going to select by white on the Trilby layer, your logo layer. Select grow, I'm going to go 3 pixels. And we're just going to go edit, cut. And we know it, it's worked because the red is coming to view and the, black, the white is gone. Alright, so we're just going to scale, um, do a bit of pre-scaling here. Make sure the train is not broken because we're dealing with the logo and we don't want to squash it or anything. And we're going to go edit, copy, go to your, whoa, and go to your icon, edit, paste. It's always going to be big, so just do a bit more scaling. Just going to zoom out a bit to 50%. Make sure the chain is not breaking again. See if this goes. That's pretty good. And scale. Now it looks a bit dark, so what I'm going to do is make a new layer and I'm just going to call it Logo Brightness or White. I'm going to alpha to select your logo layer, go to the white layer and edit fill with white or your foreground colour or background colour or whichever. And send that behind the logo and turn the opacity of the logo down and that looks pretty good next thing to do is hide it hide the background layer save it as a JPEG and you can even save it as an make it as an icon if you want to like a desktop icon or a folder icon uh, yeah, and if you want to learn how to do those sort of uh, desktop icons, go to the desktop icons tutorial. Quite a good one. I highly recommend merging those two tutorials together. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Nighthawk Media, and goodbye.